So these are the two guns we brought out this uh, morning to show off and play with and have some fun with and uh, talk about. And uh, both of them are World War I guns. The uh, P08 Luger on the left there. The uh, P08 Luger on the left there, artillery, is uh, most usually thought of as a World War II era gun because the uh, P08 Luger with the short barrel was the one that uh, they were using still quite a bit. Uh, between that and the P38, uh, it was still a common issue gun in World War II. So most people, when you talk about Lugers, will think World War II, but uh, this one is a lot older than that. And you'll see, this is built in 1917 by DWM. And I'm going to say that wrong if I try it again, so I'm not going to. Uh, but everything on this gun matches. Oops, I'm out of frame again. All of the cell numbers match on this gun, including the firing pin, everything. So, um, in World War One, there was a big need for carbine rifles, uh, small personal defense weapons. Uh, cavalry was still a thing. Cavalry was a big deal in World War I, and what you came with uh, was cavalry would scout out the positions of artillery. And these were for machine gun crews. These were for machine gun crews as well as artillery crews, but it was mostly for the artillery crews. What they found was it was really difficult to deal with a uh, rifle-length carbine rifle. Uh, it was really difficult to deal with that and run the, the big guns. So they came up with the idea of... A personal defense weapon in a, uh, a longer barrel pistol that uh, that could be converted to a carbine type weapon. Both of these guns have that capability. This would have been the paddle that the holster mounted to for the P08. And you're all familiar with this one. You got to see this in the last video on the C96. So the P08 was the desired gun. Uh, if you know your history, you know World War I didn't end until 1918. That gun was built in 1917. So that's the quality that DWM was turning out for the most part in uh, wartime production. Because of that, they weren't able to keep up with the demand. So the uh, Prussians went to Mauser and asked for the Mauser in uh, 9mm instead of 30 Mauser. And that's how that gun came to be. But today we're here for the Artillery Luger. And uh, I just think it's a really cool piece of history. You guys saw the pictures we rolled in there, the guys carrying them and using them. Uh, if you're familiar with the video game Battlefield 1, it's one of the weapons that the pilots can get. Uh, it comes with a 30, I think it's a 32 round drum with the stock. And uh, it's a pretty, pretty fast little weapon in the game. And uh, really and truly, it's a really fast little weapon in real life. It's uh, very accurate. Just, just a real, it's a lot of fun. Beautiful weapon. So anyway, that's the light little bit of history I wanted to share with you guys a little bit that I know. I'm not going to do a uh, field strip on either one of these guns today. We can do that later, but that stuff's all over YouTube. You don't need to see me do that. So let's go shoot them. Let's shoot the uh, let's shoot the Mauser and uh, see if we can capture some slow mo footage on the Mauser, and then we'll shoot the uh, we'll shoot the Luger. Talk about it a little more, maybe. All right, we'll see you guys over there. Coming everywhere, so 
they fail, say a prayer, send the word, send the word to beware. We'll be over, we're coming over, and we won't come back till it's over, over there. And of course it didn't lock open. Do they not do that or? They're supposed to, but uh, again, the hotter ammo, Would have. this isn't. <laughs> A little bit of flinch there, huh? That time it locked open. So today we're going to shoot the uh, DWM Deutsche Werke machine. DWM Deutsche Werke machine or Waffen Deutsche Waffen machine fabric. The DWM Luger artillery. Ooh, or as the Germans called it during the uh, Great War, the Linke pistol. So here we go. Get your gun, get your gun, get your gun. Johnny, show the hun, you're a son of a gun. Yeah. You could lock that in. And that was the intended Dude, that, that's uh, awesome. form of use yeah. for this gun. That so, one I had for a while. What? It did stretch out quite a bit, but it worked really, really well. See how it does. You can see uh, the target down there was set for 100 yards. We we'll go for headshots. First one for today. There you go. And what the guys could do, I don't know if you can see that, they go up to 800 meters, which I think is a bit optimistic, but uh, you could adjust that for elevation at range. Anyway, let's do one more. See how we do. I hope that was in in frame there. There we go. More headshot. Nice. So if you remember, on this one, this was the filler. So, what the guys would have to do on this one, this was actually the stock for the gun. It went in, which I'm not going to do because it scuffs the gun up. 
So what you do, you lock that in like that. That hurts. Thumb bite. Hmm? Not one malfunction. So this likes the uh, 147 grain, a little bit hotter loads. That was all Winchester white box, so it wasn't super hot. But anyway, all right, guys. about all I can do with this. That's the uh, 1917 PO8 Luger. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, down the road here I'll get these on the table. They're at the house in the kitchen and we'll go over how to tear that down and clean it. Because that's got to happen now anyway. So, hope you had a good time. We'll catch you on the next one. Make your mother proud of you and be old.